Are you pushing the buttons, Porter? Are you playing? Push it. Good job. Yeah, you gotta push it. Push it. Push the button. Push the yellow. Push it. What are you doing, Grayson? Are you helping Porter? What are you drawing, Grayson? Numbers. You're drawing your numbers? Yeah. Can you draw a number for me? What number do you want to draw? Um, 15. Oh, 15. Nice. Nice five, dude. Nice, nice five, dude. Grayson, what are we going to do today? at the zoo? Are we going to go see the Christmas lights at the zoo? Yeah. Yay! Well, good morning, you guys. I think it's still morning. Yeah, it's 1130. Good morning. I am filming today because, yes, we are going to lights at the zoo tonight. Obviously, we can't go right now because it's not dark outside. It's morning time, but we are going to go tonight. Uh, once it gets dark, um, it's raining right now, but supposedly it's supposed to stop raining by like 3, I think. Hopefully the rain stops and um, hopefully the weather is good. Right now it's 45 and cloudy, obviously. Um, I think it's only supposed to stay in the 40s till tonight, so hopefully it's not too chilly when we go. We are risking it. It is the last Saturday before Christmas. It is one week till Christmas. Christmas is a week today. So um, this is the last Saturday you can go to see the lights before Christmas. I think they go till like New Year's or right after it. So um, it's gonna be busy. Thankfully, you know, we're members and so we don't have to like wait in line to get tickets or anything like that. And we don't have to pay to park, we just show our cards. What is that? A map. A map? Oh, what does the map say? We need the way. Oh, it leads the way? Yeah. Is it leading you to a treasure? Yeah. Okay. Let's find some treasure. Okay. That's a empty wrapping paper roll that he thinks is a treasure map. So, so cute. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna go tonight. We do this every year. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it is. Hopefully it's not too busy. Last year, I feel like we lucked out because it was still like COVID and people were like scared to go out. Now I think people are more like comfortable with it, especially with the vaccines and stuff. And it's outside because it's the zoo. So I think it's gonna be busy. I think it's gonna be really busy. Um, we're pretty close to the zoo, so hopefully we don't hit too bad of traffic. Like I said, we're members, so we get in for free. It's gonna be me, Anthony, the kids. You found a treasure? What's inside? It's golden. Golden? Is it gold? Yeah. Wow, that is so cool, dude. Uh, sorry, he keeps interrupting me. Where was I? It's gonna be Anthony and I and the kids, my sister Allison, her husband Garrett, and then I think my sister Kelly's gonna come with us too. So it's gonna be a ton of us. We're gonna have to take two cars. I really need a minivan, but we are gonna go to the lights. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully the boys like it. Every time Porter sees lights, he always goes, oh, and he gets so excited. Where is the map leading you to? Reach the way to the treasure. To the treasure. Hey, go find the treasure. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of us, and Porter, I think, is really gonna like it. Gray has always liked the lights, um, so hopefully we can keep them bundled up and warm. Uh, I have them just wearing like regular outfits, and then I'm gonna put another like sweater on top, and then a coat on top of that. So we should be pretty warm. We'll put them in the wagon. We will put blankets on the wagon uh, to keep them even warmer, so hopefully it'll be good. And you know, they're little kids, and it's gonna be late, almost bedtime, so we won't stay long. We usually last about an hour and then we leave so anyway I'm excited for it it's a yearly tradition it's gonna be fun also side note about this wagon so recently our radio wagon has broke um, I've bought it in May so it hasn't even been a year 
and um, basically one of the zippers that holds one of the walls up has fallen off, like the actual zipper, and so it won't treasure. zip closed anymore, so the wall isn't stable, and it constantly folds if the boys put any pressure on it. And so I reached out to Radio Flyer, Wagon, whatever, and sent them an email and was like, hey, I'm disappointed in this, I've had it for not even a year, not even, almost like a little over a half year, and it's already like not working anymore, I shouldn't have bought this, and they reached out to me and they they were like, send us pictures and videos, so I did, and they were like, okay, we'll send you a replacement wagon, you send us your old wagon. Why they want an old broken wagon, I don't know, probably so I can't like sell it or like give it away to somebody or whatever, but whatever, so I'm getting a new wagon. It's not gonna come in time for tonight, obviously, so we're just gonna have to make do with our broken wagon, but I'm pretty pumped I'm getting a free wagon to replace my broken one. So if you ever have any problems with radio flyer, I think as long as it's been less than a year. Grayson's getting on my nerves today. But anyway, if you have a radio flyer wagon and it's broken and it's been less than a year, reach out to them. Even if it's been over a year, I wonder if they will work with you. I've reached out to a lot of companies here and there with just like products not working. Like my, um, my monitor wasn't working. They sent me a new one. That was a different, it was like that, I think that was VTech. And then, um, we bought like one of those like push walkers and we assembled it wrong and so we contacted that company I don't remember what company it was and they sent us a new one so definitely reach out to companies they're very willing to work with you because I think they just don't want P bad PR so anyway side note about that we're getting a new wagon so I'm very excited about that are you excited because we use ours a lot Good. Gray's wearing a brown fit a <laughs> brown shirt on brown pants, but it's because I'm putting a cream sweater on top. Just don't want to put it on now. Yeah. Hey, Gray, show the camera where mistletoe is today. He's like, wait, I gotta carry my my Cheerios. Where's mistletoe? Hmm. Where is that elf? He's on the white. Oh my gosh, he's up on our lights. That silly elf. He is just getting into everything. Do you see the elf? Yeah. What do you
Hey guys, so it's me with the nightly recap. I feel like this keeps happening more and more in my vlogs, but um, I just wanted to close the vlog out. So as you saw, we went to Lights at the Zoo. It was fun. We were there for a little over an hour. Like I was saying earlier in the vlog, I was worried about going today because it was the last Saturday before Christmas. Christmas is a week from today. And so I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so busy but it actually wasn't. And I think some of the factors that helped was it had been raining like all day, all night and all day, and it had stopped like at 4 p.m. So it stopped like barely in time for us to go to the lights. And so I think the rain scared people off and also it was kind of chilly. It was pretty windy. And so I think um, that kind of scared people off too. But, I mean, we benefited from it. There was hardly any traffic getting in. That's what I was most worried about. The line to get in wasn't bad. We're members, like I said, so we got free parking. We got everybody in for free, which was awesome because we have, like, extra guests on our um, member account. So that was really exciting. And, um, yeah, we went in and saw the lights. I mean, there were definitely a lot of people there. It was definitely more crowded than last year, but it wasn't too bad. The most crowded places were inside, of course, because everybody was, like, trying to stay inside with the heat. But out in the open, it really wasn't that bad. It was fun to go. We saw the lights. They were having some trouble with their lights, though. Like, a lot of their lights weren't working, and they usually have a big sign that says, like, Columbus Zoo, and it's all lit up, and only, like, the zoo word was lit up, and everything else was dark. So I don't know if the rain made them, like, have a power surge or, like, something. They blew a fuse. I don't know what was up, but half of their lights were not working. So if I would have paid full price for that, I probably would have been mad, but... It was free, so we didn't care. Um, we got cute pictures. The boys loved it. Porter loved looking at the lights like I thought he would. He was just like, ah, 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 like loving it. He was so good tonight, so, so good. You never know what you're gonna get with Porter. I mean, he's 15 months, so you never know what you're gonna get, but he just sat in the wagon, looked around the whole time. Gray liked the lights too, and he walked around a little bit and rode in the wagon rode in the wagon a little bit. My sister Allison and her husband Garrett came and then my sister Kelly came so it was nice to have extra adults on hand to help out when we needed it and yeah it was just really fun. Um, we went and saw their big tree although it's not a really big tree. It's kind of disappointing but we went and saw their tree and all their dancing lights so it was fun but it was cold so you know we just walked around made our rounds and then left so it was perfect amount of time. I always every year I feel the exact same thing about the lights I'm like I want to do it I want to get it done I want to have that experience but once it's over I'm like I don't need to go again for a whole nother year like it's great to go but I don't feel like I need to go again so <laughs> um, anyway check that off our list I was having a hard time getting in like the Christmassy mood and that definitely helped me get more into the Christmassy mood but I still feel like I don't know I'm struggling this year and I don't know why I think it's just every so often or maybe it's COVID or I don't know what but I just like haven't been feeling like very Christmassy this season and I'm not really sure why it's the same thing like I was talking my uh, about it in a couple of vlogs back about how like usually like fall is my favorite season I was so looking forward to it, but this year I just wasn't I wasn't looking forward to fall I didn't want it to get colder. I just wanted to stay warm same thing here Usually I look forward to the holiday season and I love Christmas time and I still love it But I'm just not as into it this year. And I don't know why are you experiencing that too? Let me know down below, but anyway, I'm gonna get off my tangent because it's for four minutes and 30 seconds of me just talking about the zoo. So thank you for listening if you've made it to the end of this vlog. <laughs> um, I plan on vlogging tomorrow. We are gonna go over to my mom's house and we are gonna make Christmas cookies. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna have Gray help bake and decorate. That's really why we're doing this is just to get him doing it. And so it's gonna be messy. It's gonna be super fun. So I plan on vlogging. We're gonna do it at my mom's house. Maybe I will remember to bring my vlogging camera, which is what I'm vlogging on right now, and um, vlog on that. So we'll see, but definitely stay tuned for that. But yes, Lights at the Zoo was a success. I'm so glad we did it. Waited till like almost right before Christmas. It's a week to go, but glad we did it. 
glad the weather was good, the rain held off, and um, now we don't have to do it for a whole other year. So, woohoo! Anyway, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got lots more videos coming up this week leading up to Christmas is so busy and then after Christmas is Jamaica we are so excited so definitely lots of vlogs coming up so make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye